Hey guys, in this video we are talking about how to convert um, the moles of a substance and put it into grams. So we're starting, it's a bit of stoichiometry. We're starting in moles and if we're ending up in grams, we need to multiply by something with moles on the bottom so that moles will cancel out and grams on the top. So that will be left with just one unit in terms of grams and something, some sort of measurement that involves gram per mole is the molar mass. So that's what we use to go from moles to grams and grams to moles. So we're going to do a couple examples, see how that works. Okay, let's say we had 0 0.65 moles of water, H2O. We've got 0 0.65 mole, it's important to write down your units, times how many grams per mole is in water. Well, we need to know the molar mass of water. So I have a video on finding molar mass if you're not sure how to do that. So in water we have two hydrogens, and hydrogen has a molar mass of, oops, down here, one gram per mole, plus we have one oxygen, and oxygen has a molar mass of, over here, 16 grams per mole. So 2 times 1 is 2, plus 16, we would have water has a molar mass of 18 grams per mole. So let's go back up here and we'll put in 18 grams per mole of water. So 6.5 moles of water at 18 grams per mole molar mass. All I'll do is go 0 0.65 times 18 equals 11.7. My moles would have canceled out and I'd be left with just grams. So 0 0.65 moles of water has 11.7 grams of weight in it. Okay, so let's do one where we do the reverse of that. So we'll still use the molar mass, and it's essentially the same sort of way you do the question. So if we're starting with grams, and we're going to end up with mole, we need to be multiplying by something that has grams on the bottom, so that the units of grams will cancel out and mole on the top. So that will just be left with one unit in terms of moles. And so, wouldn't the molar mass, if it was flipped over, be in moles per gram? Yes, it would. So, we'll use the molar mass again. Let's do 22 grams of, I don't know, NaOH. That sounds nice. So, we will do the molar mass we need so that when we do 22 grams times some grams per mole, we'll get an answer in terms of moles. So the molar mass of NaOH, well, we've got one molecule, sorry, one atom of sodium, and sodium, we find it on our table, has a molar weight of 23. AMU, or grams per mole, plus we have one oxygen. Oxygen has a weight of 16, plus one hydrogen, and hydrogen has a weight of 1. Right there. Okay, so we'll just go 23 plus 16 plus 1 equals 40. So the molar mass of NaOH is 40 grams per mole. So when I go back to my equation up here, I need to keep the 40 attached to the grams. So it will be 22 grams times 1 mole over 40 grams. The grams will cancel out and I'll get my answer in terms of mole. 
So when I go 22 divided by 40, I get 0 0.55 moles. So if you have 22 grams of NaOH, that's equivalent to having 0 0.55 moles.